the Kanye OT Show! Welcome to the Color Games. Okay, so in this episode, I actually took a trip to the Dollar Tree again, and I found these really cool, colorful wands. Um, they're fly swatters. I don't have a bug problem, but I'm calling them wands. And I thought, what an interesting way to make kids learn more about colors. So I thought if you get these little color wands and you make it into a game such as treasure hunt around the house looking for the color blue, or as I like to call, color wars. Um, no, not color wars. As I'd like to say, color games. And they would actually go around the house finding everything that's blue. Uh, finding everything that's green, yellow, and orange, and there was so many more of these, but I only got four, and that's the cool thing is, with the color games, you could have more than one player. Or, if you only have an only child, one student, I would suggest, depending on how easy they can grasp the concept of different colors, um, maybe just one color a day, one color at a time, um... So, have fun with it when they find come in contact with something blue. Of course, you would touch it, tap it, swat it, whatever you want to do. And don't just leave it to color games. You could actually um, transfer it into reading a story, finding everything blue, like Max's chocolate chicken. There's a blue sky. He's wearing blue pants. Um, there's green grass. Of course, if they switched it up, that's green. And the cool thing is... this. Yeah, this is green. The cool thing is um, they can learn different variations of green because you know what? This green doesn't look like that green, but we all know it's in the green family. So that's another cool thing that you could introduce with the color wands. Have fun with it. I had fun with it. Commence the color games. So let's say, for instance, we're reading when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. This is actually a colorful book. That actually helps. If you have a really colorful book, use it. Um, so let's say we're picking green. And so we're reading the story. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla. So you would actually tell them, pick all the green things. This whole page is green. My turn's green. The outline around her little sister's green. So they would be touching all the different greens. I think we get the gist of how that works. And the fun thing is, since we have four fly swatters, or four colorful wands, you could actually have four people playing at the same time. Um, also, if you don't have books, you could actually use a magazine. And they could flip through the magazine, make it a game, who could hit the different colors first, the fastest. Um, so you can make it fun, keep score, keep points. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. The main thing is that our kids are learning their different colors. Not the traditional way, but a more fun, creative way. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, if you like it, like it. And if you want to share it with other people, feel free to share it. I'll see you next time. Bye! Stay tuned for the next episode! See you next time!